With the latest release of Info Drainage, Autodesk's Drainage Design Package, we now see in version 2023.2 the tools to help streamline drainage design in accordance with ARNR 19. Going into Info Drainage, to first generate our rainfall, we come to the Rainfall tab and select the ARNR Design Storm Creation Tool. Within the window, we can select a location in Australia using the map box. This will grab our latitude and longitude so that we can download information from the ARNR Data Hub and the Bureau of Meteorology websites. The first file will prompt us to save the Data Hub text file. The second will be the Bureau of Meteorology IFD table. And the third is the Bureau of Meteorology coefficients, which is useful for durations that are not standard in the IFD table. It's a good idea to name our storm. If you have the information already from the Data Hub and Bureau of Meteorology, you can add the information here using the Add From File icon. To select our events, we come to the AEPs tab and we can add or delete as many events that we wish to analyse. We can even increase the rainfall depths by a certain percentage to account for things like climate change effects. Under the Storm Durations tab, we can select which durations we wish to be. And if we wish to apply some area reduction factors, we can do so in the ARF tab. This is going to be useful if we have extremely large catchments draining towards some drainage infrastructure. We can manage our storms using the Rainfall Manager tool. This is useful if we wish to cut down on storm durations later or change the events that we wish to analyse. We can then view our storms using the Rainfall Viewer. We select an event and a duration, and we can filter through the ensemble of storms. If we wish to use the losses contained from the Data Hub, we can do so in the Lorentzen or Raft's runoff routing method. Our values for initial loss and continuing loss are entered here. To simulate our storms, we come through to the Analysis tab and we select the rainfall under the Analysis Criteria window. As you can see, we're running 270 storms. We can then validate the model to check if there are any errors or warnings and then kick off the simulations. So Info Drainage allows parallel processing which can split the simulation across multiple cores if we have the resources to do so. This is going to be extremely efficient for running or simulating these 270 storms as I am in this case. Upon completion of the simulations, we can view the connection summary or results of our pipes in my drainage network. We can use the toggle button down the bottom here to select the results for individual storms. We can then use the various tools at the top to check out the results for critical by return period. So this will tell us the critical storm for each of our elements under the current event that we are looking at. I can take this down to a 10% event and a 1% of them. We can use the critical storm option to then check out the critical storm result looking at all the events that we have run. I also have the ability to change how we determine the critical storm, whether we're looking at volume, velocity or flow. We can then filter this to look at individual drainage elements such as the outflow pipe. 
I expand these results here, we can see the results for each of the storms. This is looking at all the events that we have run. If I take the storm back to the 10% event and choose critical by return period, we can see here that the 10% 20 minute duration storm 4 is our critical storm. We can then further analyse the statistics of the ensemble storms through the ARNR box plot summary tool. We can turn on information such as the inner points, mean marks and trend line. We can use the statistics table down here to check out the mean, median, minimum and maximum storm results for each of the durations that we have run. We can also get the information on the corresponding storms to these results. We have the ability to further filter how we're viewing these results, again ranking by flow, velocity or volume, selecting which element we wish to view and we can even filter through the various connections which could be pipes, channels, if we have basins, any manholes or catchments.